It was a successful novel in Russia, was it? Oh. Uh, what is success? In, in terms of in terms of it, it sold fairly well, or did it did it make a big impact? It's a very very American way of success. <laughs> you see, we have other writers who make who have much more success. The right crime stories, yeah, and they sell a lot, yeah, much more than I sell. Uh, yes, I had success. Yes. Um, I, I read about one of your critics, uh, and the story may be familiar to you. He said that he would eat his underpants in public if your book sold more than 50,000 copies in its first year. And, and it did. No, he didn't. No, it did, but, the book, but the book did. Ah. But he did not. Yeah. <laughs> These are critics, yeah. It was about the... Uh, Andrei Gavrilov, he was actually the publisher of Knižne Abazrenia, like book, book review, and he uh, read it in his blog. And, uh, but these are critics, yeah, they, they never, you see, do what they, <laughs> what they promise. Yeah. So, unfortunately, he didn't, yeah. So, um, so what we're just hearing you and Marion reading was part of the, the interpreter section of the novel. There's kind of, it's a very difficult novel to summarize, but there's more or less uh, three main parts. And may, may I interrupt? It's not a difficult novel. How, 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 would, how would you sum Well, dif difficult to, to summarize, but not difficult to read. Okay, okay. No, I think it's a very simple novel, very simply written, just some uh, difficult, uh, quite uh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, some uh, different stories are told, yeah, but nothing difficult. So the the part that you were reading was um, there's kind of this interpreter who's more or less the narrator of the book, and there's all these asylum seekers at the Swiss border, and they're mm -hmm. kind of subject to interrogation, and they go into these very long stories about how they got to the border and why they decided to flee Russia. And so you, you actually were an interpreter at the Swiss border for a while? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, why I uh, came to Switzerland, because of my former wife, she, she was Swiss. And uh, when I came to Switzerland, uh, I just had to earn some money for the family. And that was the only job I could do to translate Russian German. It was very happy to get this job as an uh, interpreter for the asylum seeking people, for the police. And uh, I had to translate their stories, these interviews, actual interrogations. And frankly speaking, it's a very bad job. <laughs> it's a very bad job. It was well paid, yes, but it's a very bad job because when you come home at night you must be tired but happy and then tell your wife and children some funny things which happened to you and I had nothing funny to tell them yeah because I just had to translate stories which were not funny at all yeah? actually when I married uh, Francisca, my former Swiss wife, we lived in Moscow and we came just in the, uh, on vacations to Switzerland and my idea was I, I will never go to Switzerland. How could a Russian writer live in this boring country? <laughs> Nothing happens. Yeah? Russian writer needs Russian stories, yeah? Russian pressure, in Russia, you see, the atmosphere pressure is quite different. And so I came to Switzerland, and through my job, I came into the middle yeah, of the uh, Russian stories, of the Russian pressure, because if you are in Russia and you have a lot of such stories, you can just close the window, uh, you see, so no, no newspapers, no internet, no TV, yeah? But here, if the story is sitting in front of you and telling itself, you have no way out, yeah? You can't escape. You just must take all this story inside. 
And for me, it was clear from the beginning that the, the, the only way for me to survive this job is to write about it. So it, for me, it was the beginning of the novel, yes. And there's another plot line. Uh, I guess the interpreter finds a journal of this uh, dancer, Bella Dmitrieva, who I guess I've, I've read that you had encountered some journals of your mother's that you were reading, and did that kind of get you interested in the whole format, kind of trying to explore that in literature? Or how, how did that whole part, part of the novel come about? Uh, Isabella Yuryeva is a very famous uh, singer, not opera singer, but romance singer. And she was actually the, fam uh, the, the favorite singer of my father. And we, we had uh, discs at home when I was a child. And uh, she's fabulous personality. She uh, was born uh, 1899, and she died 2000. Oof. So she lived the whole horrible Russian 20th century. And uh, actually, after she died, nobody knew anything about her. Yeah? For example, where did she spend the civil war? Yeah? Was she uh, with the Russians? Was she with the whites? Yeah? After she died, there were no information, no diaries, no memoirs, no letters, because people who lived at that time in Russia, in the 30s, 40s, 50s, they were so afraid of their past because you would never know what from your past could be dangerous tomorrow. And so they tried just to uh, just to get rid of their past. Yeah. And uh, for me, she was this symbol, actually, of the epoch, because she lived in the country of slaves. Like, my, my parents, they were slaves. The parents of my parents, they were slaves. And she was singing for these slaves. She sang for them about love. And they... Uh, it was so important for them to survive. Yeah? The singing was, for, for my father, much more important than, than money, than, than food. Yeah? Because singing about something very simple, about, about love, yeah? she, gave, she, returned, she gave them, the, the slaves, their dignity back. And uh, I, invent, I invent that I got from a publisher in Moscow, her diaries and her memoirs. And actually, I'm writing her life. I'm inventing her life. I, try, I tried not to invent anything, but I had to. And I write in this novel her uh, memoirs about her childhood in Rostov and Don before the First World War then the First World War, Civil War, 20s, 30s. It's a very important part of, of the novel. It's very simply written. <laughs> it's, it's not a difficult book, really. 